guys, three squashies grown in a container. Hi everyone, I'm Naomi. Welcome to our channel. Hello guys, and I'm Mark. In this video, we're going to show you how to grow butternut squash and squashies in containers. Now these are butternut squash, and I'm gonna actually plant butternut squash in a container. Because they're quite a greedy plant, we need a large container. So this is 30 centimeters by 40. And what I like about this pot, it has its own water reservoir at the bottom. Now when's the best time to repot a seedling? When you can see the roots coming out at the bottom. That's the time to do it. So let's get it all prepared. I start off with some normal, general, all round compost designed four pots I like to get my hands in guys you may see the rabbit hutch behind me the secret ingredient when you have rabbits is rabbit droppings so I'm going to put some of them in okay guys so we've got the rabbit droppings and the general all-round multi-purpose compost I'm now going to put some fertilizer in as well just to enrich the mixture even more. Let's give all that a mix. So we've got a general compost in here, some fertilizer, and our magic ingredient, the rabbit droppings. Used to have chickens in the past and their droppings were brilliant for gardening as well. Uh, the beauty of the rabbit droppings is it's known as cold manure and this can be put in your garden as soon as it comes out of the rabbit. Um, so this is brilliant. Okay, we'll just top that up now with the all purpose. Okay guys, this is the tip for repotting your seedlings without damaging them. Rather than take the seedling out of the pot and plant it in, create a hole in the soil that you've just put in around the pot. Firm it down nicely. And then when you remove the pot, you're left with a hole the same measurement as the pot. Now I've pre-soaked the seedlings so they're nice and wet. So one shake should get them out. As you can see there's the root system. Just pop that straight into the hole that you've already created. And that's it. Just water them in and they're unharmed. Perfect way to repot seedlings. And to grow butternut squash in a container. We've actually got three here. Over the next week, I'm gonna see uh, which of these butternut squash seedlings is the strongest, and I'll weed out the other two, because growing butternut squash in a container, you really can only have one plant in the container, because they're very hungry plants. And that's why the rabbit droppings are in there as well, and the extra fertilizer. So we'll leave this in there a week. We'll give it a good soak now, and uh, after a week, I'll thin out the two, and just keep the one. Okay guys, two weeks later, and as you can see, we've thinned out the butternut squash. We've just got the strongest plant left in the container. As you can see, the butternut squash is doing really well. Uh, looking forward for it to spreading all over the garden and giving us a bounty of butternut squash. Okay guys, here's another butternut squash uh, growing in a pot. Uh, this is about seven or eight weeks old since uh, planting from seed. Um, again, we moved it into a bigger pot at about two weeks old. One of the main benefits for me guys of planting butternut squash in large pots is that you can place them in different parts of the garden and just increase your gardening and growth potential within your own garden. This is up against the wall, it's got all our strawberry plants there and I'm expecting it just to sprawl out and do its thing. 
Okay guys, here we are at 12 weeks and the butternut squash are doing extremely well in the containers. Um, as you can see, plenty of flowers and I would imagine each container has probably got about a thousand rabbit pellets in. I'm using the rabbit pellets as mulch as well as for feed and uh, the butternut squash are thriving. That's a huge. Okay, here's the uh, butternut squash. You saw me uh, repotting earlier. We decided to plant this on the terrace in the pot and it's growing along the terrace and upwards. Here's the first squash. We were thinking of uh, having to create um, a little hammock to hold it, but nature seems to have done its own thing. And the tentacles from the uh, butternut squash are actually supporting the squash. And if we go up, there's another flower there with another squash starting to develop. And at the bottom, there's a lot more flowers. So I'd expect a lot more fruit. As you can see, growing a butternut in squash in a container can be very successful. Here we go guys, three squashes grown in a container. Okay guys, it's autumn, we're going to harvest the last butternut squash. I'll leave it to you, honey. Okay. Set the are there. Oh wow, it's easy when you get sick of the There you are. Oh wow. Here it is. Mmm, in a beautiful and... Here we are guys. Butternut squash grown in a container. That's a good one and a half kilos, easy. Maybe two kilos. <laughs> Butternut squash adobo, what do you think? Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this short video on how to grow butternut squash and squashes in containers. And if you like it, didn't like it. And if you love it, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. See you soon. God bless. Paalam. See you guys. See you soon.